Hi, Dave Smith with Officer.com, and I want to talk about a very important issue that something a lot of times we don't like to talk about, and that's our emotional survival. How do we make ourselves stronger emotionally to deal with the job? And I know a lot of you are saying, I don't need that. Uh, yeah, sure, all right, fine, you don't. But just listen to what I say and think about it, okay? Now, my good friend Dr. Kevin Gilmartin years ago taught me that you know there are going to be things in life you do that give you coping skills, that give you strength. They're called you stress, which means good stress. Distress, we know, stresses us out, and law enforcement's filled with stress. Number one stress in law enforcement is, believe it or not, administrative stress. And I tell you what, all of you knew that. And a lot of people don't realize, I don't care if you're a sheriff, a chief, or a director, you have administrative same stresses. It's, a just, it's in a different perspective. A rookie to the top, it's all the same. Administrative stress eats us up. Then we have the stress of the profession. We have the stress of liability. We have the stress of our relationships. We have the stress of being high, high sensation, high risk people in a world that doesn't understand us. And sometimes the people at home don't even understand us. So we have a situation here, so we're constantly being stressed, distressed. At the same time, who's responsible to give us you stress, positive stress, that develops our coping capability? Well, you are. Don't say someone else. No, this is one of the keys to being strong is having the center of control in your life in you. It's not your, sh your sheriff's job, it's not your chief's job, it's not your director's job to make you happy or make you well or make you strong. You say, oh yeah, we have a department psychologist. No, in fact, a good psychologist, the first thing I tell you is, look, I don't make you well, you make you well. And so this is why you, let's don't get sick to begin with. Let's be strong. And one of the ways we stay strong and, and create this, uh, this ability to cope with all the things we face is having used to positive, stressful things you do. How many of you say, well, you know, I used to hunt, I used to fish, I used to tie flies, I used to enjoy cooking, I, I used to go on this, I used to do that. Well, you know, a lot of times all that leads to I used to be married, I used to be happy. Do the things, think about the things that you used to do that you stopped doing and start doing them or new things. Always be learning, always be growing. You know, decide, hey, you know what, I really would like to learn how to fly uh, tie flies. I really would like to learn how to cook, you know. And the thing is, is that you, you, you'd be shocked at the things you discover before long become positive, stressful things. You know, a lot of people start reloading ammunition, for instance, simply to save money, but then they discover it's an incredibly relaxing uh, thing to do. It's very tranquilizing. Same thing as fishing is very tranquilizing. Hunting is very tranquil. Very, they, they enhance our lives. Simple things like cooking. And, uh, and, and this is the thing, I don't know what is going to be your you stress, but you've got to find out. And don't wait for anyone else to give it to you. You go out and find it. Part of being a warrior is taking care of yourself, which means putting all your armor on, including your emotional armor, making yourself strong and protected against the stresses of our job by having you stress or positive stress constantly come into you. And that's the thing. And don't tell me, hey, I don't have time for it. I remember years ago, I was sitting in a class, and an instructor told me, all right, list the three things in your life you don't have enough time for. And I put three really critical elements of my life. And then he said, all right, erase the first part of that and say, I don't care enough about. And then it hit me, he's right. If I really cared, I'd find time for those three things, and I did, because they are the most important things in my life. You've got important things in your life, so do that little exercise in your mind, and at the same time, get a bunch of I do's. I do this, I do that, I enjoy this, I enjoy that. Build your mental armor, emotionally be prepared, and love this profession, love what you do, and I'll tell you what, stay safe. I'll see you again.